With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So here's the question. The genotype of the plant showing the dominant phenotype can be determined by. Alright. So there is a cross that is called as the test cross. In the test cross, what we do? We cross the we cross the F1 hybrid with a double recessive parent just to know whether the parental generation was a homozygous or heterozygous. So we cross F1 hybrid, F1 hybrid with the double recessive parent with double recessive parent okay double recessive parent or double recessive genotype the ratio of the test cross is always one is to one okay what do you mean by the back cross back cross means the back cross mean when we are going to cross the f1 hybrid f1 hybrid with either of the parental generation okay that is, I am can use either the homozygous or heterozygous. All right, parental generation, either of the parental generation. So every test cross is a back cross, but every back cross is not a test cross. But every test cross is not a back cross. Every back cross is a test cross, but every test cross is now not a back cross because in test cross we always require double recessive parent. Whereas in back cross, you can use either of the parental generation. All right. And that parental generation can be either a homozygous condition or a heterozygous condition. Okay. So there is a difference between two of them. What do you mean by the dihybrid cross? The dihybrid cross means when I am going to use more than two types of the characters. For example, if I use axial and red. So over here, axial, axial and red red the flowers is axial in position and red in color and another one are terminal in position and white in color so when i am going to cross these i am going to obtain capital a small a capital r small r so this is the f1 hybrid when this f1 hybrid will be self all right i am going to obtain a ratio over here that will be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 that will be a phenotypic ratio if you talk about that this is a phenotypic ratio phenotypic ratio if you talk about the genotypic ratio then in this condition the genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 so this is the genotypic and phenotypic ratio this is called as the dihybrid cross the last option they are talking about pedigree analysis what do you mean by pedigree analysis in the pedigree analysis, we do pedigree analysis just to check that how the disease runs in a family. For example, this is a male, this is a female. Female is represented by a circle, male is represented by a square. And when the cross is being done between, they obtain the following, following children. Two males, they obtain two males, they obtain one female. For example, if they this male was suffering from a disease, and the disease is being represented by a uh, like this. So what happens? This disease is now present in case of the, this disease is present in case of the, with this female. So this will be what? The male is XY, the female, this female is XX. In this condition, the males are totally normal. Why? Because they obtain one X chromosome from the mother and they obtain Y chromosome from the father and hence, this condition where only female is being suffering and male is the father is, has the disease this kind of the diseases will be x linked disease this will be x linked disease all right so this is how we check the how the disease runs in a family with the help of the pedigree analysis so answer for this question over here will be a test cross this is to test cross all right thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.